Guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing one of the cigars that uh, my brother JB sent me uh, uh, last year. And um, it's been like I couldn't get through all of them at the same time. I had to do some newer cigars and all those things adds up, and then you know. Time flew by. So now we're doing the Jake White USIR. <clears throat> and this one supposedly means unsuspected inner resource. Doesn't really mean anything to me, but it is what it is. All right. Let's take a quick look at the cigar, especially top and bottom. Jake White Cigar Company USIR Bellicoso. 6x52 MSRP $12.68 in a box of 22. Really weird number. Wrapper is Habano Rosado, binder is Dominican, and filler is Dominican. Got a little design at the end on both sides. And that's pretty much it. Let's get started. Okay, so now we're back. For the design, I think it's just one of their design language. It really doesn't add any flavor or whatnot. I um, based on the previous cigar that we have. So I wouldn't expect too much from the two design here, but I hope the cigar is good. For 1268, I hope the cigar is good. Oh. I am impressed. It smells like cinnamon French toast. I am not kidding. It smells like cinnamon French toast. Wow. It smells really good. What the hell? I'm pretty sure I didn't put the JB, tell the truth. Did you put this right next to uh, the cinnamon French toast? Because what that's what it smells like. Oh my God, it smells good. Yeah. I had like no expectation and I, wow. Wow, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, that's fine with the cap is. Okay. Uh, okay. Wow, I had no draw. Okay. Let's cut another one. Some draw. Okay, stiff. Um, I think I can manage it. Just had to massage it a little bit. Yeah, it's packed really tight. It's packed really, really tight. All right. I don't have any more cap to cut. If I cut any more, it's gonna unravel. So yeah, this is what it had to be. Now it kind of tastes like an earthy cinnamon. Earthy paper box cinnamon. That's what it tastes like. Cold draw. All right.
Oh, uh, okay. So the USIR, I didn't say this in the quick look. Even though it's uh, at Habano Rosado, it's a Dominican Republic with Mexican San Andreas Maduro accent, which is these two strips. But I don't think that information does anything. It's just that what you need to know is a Dominican Habano Rosado. It's woodsy. With some hints of coffee and chocolate. Some sort of spice, but it doesn't really go through. There is some pepper in there, just say. Like, it's not really showing what kind of pepper that is I'm not sure it's black pepper or white pepper or chili pepper there's a little bit of taste of like sud and sour sharpness i don't know not sure what that is all right, let me smoke one third and maybe pick up a Excalibur out of this thing. And we'll be right back. Okay, first third. It's actually less complex than I thought. It's um, it's a little bit woodsy, a little bit creamy, some pepper, some sweetness. That's like a real sweetness to it. And has a little flavor that's towards the sour side, a little bit like spice. And that's pretty much it. Not very complex, not very crazy. Um, I did have to, I did try to pull a Excalibur out, but every time I try to pull it, it, it breaks. So I end up using the draw tool, just poke a hole. Now, I want to say this, okay? Draw tool destroys the cigar every time. I don't, don't, I don't like to use draw tool uh, unless it's like last resort. Because you're pressing, you're pressing these tobacco apart from the inside. I always try to crack it. Luckily, I didn't crack it, but I didn't, I didn't did, I didn't do a lot, just like, you know, halfway through. But I don't recommend it, really. If you can, pull the stem out. If you cannot, then try the draw, draw tool. Don't use draw tool every time. So, burns okay, but look at the ash. It's kind of dark gray, you know, it's not really the impressive, you know, white ash. I do like the sweetness. The sweetness is almost fruity, almost, but not really there. There is, it's more floral than fruity. It almost tastes like, almost tastes like almond, but not really. It has this little sourness to it. So I don't know. And that's the first third. The performance isn't bad per se, but not very impressive for a $12 range cigar at the moment. All right, let's see how second, second, third do, and we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, warning. When you enjoy the cigar, problem is don't enjoy the conversation too much because if you enjoy the conversation too much, you forget. All right, so second, third. Second, third, I think the flavor kind of gets really sweet. It gets towards the sweetest side. Uh, I, I think the, the, the sweetness is kind of almost nutty, but not really. So it's that kind of sweetness. Yeah, it's almost like almond, almond sweet, right? Like a like almond flavoring sweet, and woodsiness, a little bit of baking spice mix or something like that. Has a that that ends up with a little bit of, uh, like not sweet cream, like almost bitter creaminess, right? That's what I got. Not too bad second third, especially when you're enjoying the conversation, you're talking to things and talking to things talking through things and, and and you know that the cigar was good enough to be a muscle memory without discuss you or too impressive or something like that it's like muscle memory cigar right now 
All right. So let's get this bin off. Come on. Very simple, Ben. J W U S I R. That's it. This is all it is. So it's not supposed to be like um, crazy design stuff. It's just we got a band on it, so you know what it is. And um, if you don't know, you know it's also on the barcode and stuff. That's pretty much it. All right. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Simple design, but get to the point. But at the same time, it's not missing any information because you know that's their logo. It okay. Sometimes I complain about logos that have no information on it. It's like, wait, Tony, what about this logo? You, you, you're okay with this logo that has nothing on it. I'm talking about a logo that's like an image. I can't tell what that is, right? Like, uh, like you know, if you like a JC Newman have a JN on it, I'll probably be able to guess it. You give me like a raccoon, like what? Who, what is that? What is that? Right? You put it. You, you, okay. You know, if you're a white panda, you put a panda, I'll probably get it. Except white panda logo is not even a panda. Okay, so JW, I get it. I get it. I I, I understand. All right. So Luster, be right back. All right, Luster, I'm done. Luster, the, the flavor died down. It's not that much flavor anymore. There's actually more spice. You get more spice than that sweetness. There's still a little bit of sweetness, but it's it feels like the, the flavor has kind of switched up. So... The spice raise up and the, and and the sweetness and the woodsiness kind of goes down a little bit. It's kind of switched up like that, and that almondy sweetness just became a more woodsy sweetness. And the uh, the pepper and stuff like that is kind of like a, like a curve, you know. It just changed a little bit. It's not a bad cigar. It's I think there's a construction issue, but it's not a bad cigar, and it's also not not complex. And I think it's a good muscle memory cigar because it's not complex. You're not looking for anything special. You're looking for a flavor, consistent flavor. And I think they did that, okay? I think they did that. So with that being said, this cigar is worth... I'll give it 11 bucks. 11 bucks. Not the full amount they want, but I think 11 bucks. <clears throat> you know, to be honest, it should be between 950 to 11. Depends on your mood. I think today's, because I, I guess I have a good conversation and stuff like that, this cigar is very enjoyable. So I, I'll give it 11. By the time where like you're, you're smoking on your own and not doing anything, not talking to anybody, this cigar might be boring. And to that boring aspect, it's probably 950. So, but today I give it 11. All right. So big thanks to JB sending me the cigar. I'm sorry that has a lot of delay, but I enjoyed the cigar. Thank you very much. And that will be it for this particular cigar review if you like it make sure to like subscribe comment share check out swag check out our podcast and check out our membership program and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys